Welcome guys, today I'll show you how to make your own main menu, a 3D main menu for your game. So I'm using the third person template and the first thing we'll do is we'll go into cinematics and matinee. I still use man uh, matinee so this is what I'll be showing you guys. Now inside matinee you want to right click down here and add new camera group. We can call this main menu and then we will select our keyframe, our first keyframe right here. I'll make this smaller. Now we want to uh, just make sure that your camera is facing um, whichever area you want to be in, um, next to your menu. Once you are happy with the location, I will drag this line at the bottom forwards about here and I'll press enter. Now we have two keyframes. Now I'll right click on the keyframe, go to uh, interp mode and choose linear. I'll do this for both of these. Now I'll maximize this. Now I'll right click here and add a director group. Now I'll click on the director group and press enter and press ok. Now our main menu is down here. Now we can close this. Now we want to find our matinee actor that we just made. I can see it down there, you guys can find it in your list. So matinee actor 1, the one we just made. Once you have this selected, we'll go to Blueprints and Open Level Blueprint. Now inside here, we'll right click and type Add Event. Begin Play. Once we bring this in, then we'll right click here again and type Play. Now we will look for Play and choose that. And our target should be Matinee. Now we'll just connect this with play. Now down here I'll add loop. Then we'll uh, we'll choose set looping and we'll take the looping box and we'll connect the matinee actor down to our target right here. Then we'll compile this and we'll minimize this. Now if, if we click play um, our main ma our, our matinee camera should continue to be played. So now we'll right click in our content browser, we'll scroll down and go to user interface. Down here we'll add a widget blueprint. We'll call this main menu and double click to open this. Now inside here, first of all, we'll, we have our, um, our, our canvas panel down here. We'll go into, uh, you want to find, go to panels and choose a um, vertical box. And we'll add two of these. Just drag them on top of the panel. Uh, the first one we will call main menu. And the second one we will call options menu. And we want to make sure both of them are variable. So check this option right here is variable. Okay, next we will find our buttons and we'll drag three buttons on top of the main menu. And four buttons on top of the options menu. Now we'll drag a text on top of each of the buttons. Now once we have done that, we will drag another text just on top of main menu. Now the text that we just dra uh, dragged on top of main menu, down here we'll call this my game. And down here you guys can name it whatever you want your game to be called, so I'll just type rising for example. And then for a button 1 text, we'll type here play game. And down in text we'll type play. Then for the second one, we'll type options. Options button. And down in text, we'll just type options. Then for the um, last button in our main menu, we'll type 
quit button. Then down here, we'll type quit. Now for the next one in the uh, options menu for the first button text, we'll type the value 640 times 480. And down here we'll type 640 times 480. Then the next one we'll do the next resolution, which is 1280 times 720. And we'll call this the uh, button. Then down here we'll type the same value 1280 times 720. Then for the next one, we'll type the next resolution, which is 1920 times 1080. And down here, we'll again type uh, 1920 times 1080. Now for the last button, uh, down here, we'll type um, return button. And down here, we'll type return. Now, once we've done all that, we will click on our main menu and we will turn the set order to 1 and we will make sure that it's, um, it's a variable and that the visibility is um, visible. And for the options menu, we'll set the visibility to hidden and make sure it's a variable. Now we'll just select our two uh, our main menu and our options menu so control click and in anchors we'll choose uh, one of the anchors down here and now it's all about um, uh, adjusting how you want your um, your menus to be and now we'll go down here click on our main menu and drag this in the middle and we can make this bigger And we'll also drag our options menu. So select your options menu and drag it in the middle and make it about the same height, same size. Now we'll, um, we'll select all our texts. And we can edit the options down here. So I'll make them all 70. In, um, in in the size or uh, 50 actually I'll make them 50 it's okay if there's um, these things showing up it doesn't really matter right now and we'll also click on uh, my game and I'll also make this about 50 and uh, we will also make um, name all our buttons so we know which ones they are so all display for the second one we can call this options third one we can call this quit and the next one we can uh, name this 640 times 480 and then this one 1280 times 720 and then 1980 times Sorry, 1920 times 1080. And the last one we can call this return. Now we will head over to our graph and down here. First thing we'll do is we'll click on the play button and we'll choose any other events. We'll choose on clicked and click the plus key. And down here we'll drag out a note or we'll just right click and type um, open level we'll connect these two together we will be coming back to this level name later and from here we'll type uh, remove from parent after we've done this we want to uh, right click here sorry we want to go uh, click on options and click on on clicked now we want to bring in two set visibility nodes so we bring in one and then control c and control v For the first one so we'll connect these together and we want to bring in our control hold control and left click and then drag your main menu in and your options menu 
and then we connect these to the target and invisibility for the first one we change this to hidden so when options is clicked main menu goes away and the options menu shows up now after this we'll bring in the first resolutions so control click uh, click this and then I'm um, on clicked and we'll type here execute console commands now we'll copy this and paste it down here to uh, three more times so just paste it down here and inside the command we want to type r dot set res and then uh, add a space bar then type the value so 640 times 480 enter now we'll do now we'll bring in the second resolution and on clicked we'll connect this down here we can copy the say same command from here control c and then control v here and we'll change the value to 1280 times 720 and then for the second one we'll bring in the 1920 times 1080 on clicked connect to here we'll paste the same thing here but we'll change the value again to 1920 times 1080 and for the last one we'll uh, choose the quit button right here and we'll click on on clicked we'll connect this here and down in the command we'll type quit and finally we have our um, return button so we'll click on clicked we'll actually make uh, one more execute sorry not this uh, we'll make two set visibility nodes so control c control v same thing again uh, connect them all together we'll drag in the control click the main menu and the options menu again and this time we'll make the main menu visible and the options menu hidden now uh, we are ready here so we'll just click on compile and save and minimize this Now we'll head back to our uh, blueprints and then open level blueprints and down here we'll type um, create widget and inside here we can choose our main menu we'll connect these two together and down here we'll type add to viewports and we'll connect the return value to the target right here and then show mouse so set show mouse cursor and then uh, make sure this box is ticked and then we'll type get player controller and we can connect the return value from this to our targets and now we, we compile this now if you click play um, our loop our looping uh, scene is showing up in the background and in our options we have our options that once we launch the game um, separately you can change these options down here and if you place uh, if, you, if you press quit the game quits so um, if you guys wanna so this is how you make the uh, the 3d background if you guys want to add stuff like grass or anything you guys want to add um, you guys can but now what we want to do is uh, we want to go to file and make a new level so just choose default for example and we want to if we click play here right now our character plays and everything's all fine so um, we'll go to file uh, we'll save this and we'll call this game once you've done that just make sure everything's saved and we'll go to file open project and we'll um, we'll open our um, our third person that, we, that we're working on just now now once we've done that we'll go back to our uh, our main menu you we'll go to graph and down here we'll choose game once you've done that save this uh, compile this save this now if we click play um, our menu shows up everything's fine now if we click play uh, we start playing our game in a different um, level so you guys can have um, as many levels as you want and you guys can make um, different levels so, so level 1 level 2 level 3 and make different um, levels for each each uh, each one 
and when we quit our game we'll back to our, um, our main mode so you guys can add stuff here now if you guys want to add some sounds or some uh, some some music to this what you guys need for that is um first of all uh, you guys will need a music file which is a dot um, wav which is what works in unreal engine so for example i'll just drag in a file right now and then you want to go into your level blueprints so blueprints open level blueprints and down here we'll also um type play sound at location and we'll connect this here and choose your sound file right here so I just added um, rain and thunder and for the location I'll select this camera our main camera and then make a reference to this and then get location and join this here now when you press uh, compile and you play you have the sound in the background as well So this was the basic tutorial, I hope you guys enjoyed this, if you're gonna change anything to do with your menu, change it here in the um, designer, change any options on this side, and this was it guys, so thanks for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this.